Cody, Dr. Moneybag Starks in by with the things he'd buy if he had money to burn. That's right, Marianne. <laughs> Dr. Moneybags. I didn't spend 50 bucks on the internet for my PhD for nothing. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> That's right. Almost everybody can agree that tacos are amazing, right? It's like the one thing we all agree. All the food groups are represented. They're delicious and they're cheap. Not the ones I'm splurging on. No. Yeah. Las Vegas Supper Club Rose Rabbit Lie, which is a great name. I don't know what it means, but it's a great name. It's serving up a fancy version of this culinary delight that has set you back 50 bucks for one. 50 bucks for one taco. Forget meat and cheese. The tacos are topped with one of the rarest and most expensive types of caviar. Caviar is placed in a shell made of baked potato along with Japanese yellowtail and mixed spices. Then you eat it all on a delicious bite because these tacos are tiny, like the size of your thumb. They're wee little things that cost 50 bucks a piece. Oh, that's ridiculous. This <laughs> is for people like, I got all this cash. I don't know how to launder it. Let's go to this place for a taco for 50 bucks. Uh, tacos are great these days if you're chilling poolside. So next thing I'd buy is a pair of flip-flops, ladies and gentlemen. The high-end flip-flop artisans over at the Texas-based company called Hari Mari jazzed up the summer footwear with technology developed by a company owned by former Dallas Cowboys running back Emmett Smith. For $110, the shoes come with a chip embedded inside that communicates with a smartphone app. The chip apparently gathers data about you and then sends it back to the company. Then it will send you special discount offers, promotions via email. So, so you pay $100 to be... Spam. Yeah, yeah. $100 for spam. Okay. That's what you're doing right there. Great. Because we're rich and we don't care. We're rich like that. Yeah, only when you got money to burn. Like spam! Mm. <laughs> that is maybe the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Uh, tacos and flip flops are poolside necessities, but don't forget the fruit. So the next thing I'd buy is a juicy melon to cool me down on a hot day. The newest obsession in Japan is luxury fruits. A cantaloupe, for instance, can set you back as much as $27,000. I just each. got one to raise for like a buck. <laughs> <laughs> like a buck fifty. Yeah, well, that's, that's how the little people do it. <laughs> All right. The fruit is sold in something that looks like a high-end jewelry shop with sparkling glass display cases. Ooh. But instead of diamonds inside, you're getting melons. Cultivating the produce is a meticulous, labor-intensive practice. Sometimes it takes 45 days just to grow one strawberry, which may end up selling for as much as $4,500 to a really dumb person. Uh, definitely not your average box of sad market fruits. If you're paying $27,000 for a melon, you need to get yeah. your melon checked. Yeah, thank you. Because you have lost your mind. Wow. These people need, they must come here and just be stunned at the amount of fresh produce that's available. And how much we throw out because it goes bad because we just can't get to it. Yeah, that's right. I got halfway through the $27,000 uh, melon had to throw it out. Had to throw it out. Yeah. <laughs> it What's my funny. name, Marianne? Dr. Moneybags. Thank you very much. All right. Out. Thanks, Stark.